Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. In this video, we will discuss the B problem from Code Forces around 932 Div 2. And before starting this video, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button and kindly watch this video till end to actually understand the problem. Now, this is the problem statement. There is an array A of length n and you want to divide this array into k subsegments. So, k is not given to us uh, such that the max of each subsegment is equal to the same integer. And this k has to be greater than 1. Okay. Now the division of this array into k subsequent is defined as like that. We, so these subsegments are continuous subsegments, and n goes to l to n to the power five. So we have to solve this in big O of n or n n log n time. Okay. So we have this. Now you can read the sample input for zero zero. We can uh, divide this separately. So from one to one, then two to two. Uh, so both of these have max equals to one. Okay. Now for five. Uh, we cannot divide it actually. You can try all the possible combinations. You will not be able to do that. Now for for eight, mm, uh, for eight we can say like for these three integers, then these two, and then these. So that is how we will divide it. And like for since all all of these are equal, then I can say like okay, uh, let's separate it like that. And for four, I can there is no possible way to actually divide it right okay so how can we do this let's see suppose we have an array uh, so my array looks, looks like something like a1 a2 till a n right and we want to divide it like let's say we have some divisions so first we have a1 a2 till k1 so first division is like this then we have k1 plus 1 till k2 right and then we have from k2 plus 1 till k3 uh, and suppose let's say we have till kn uh, kk right so we have k uh, subsequents and each of this has max value of let's say mx mx and mx right so i think it is easy like if we already know this value of mx then we can easily find it right uh, and there is a claim like let's let me claim it so my claim is this mx value is equals to max of the entire array how because mx is the smallest value that is not present in this array right max is the smallest non-negative integer that is not present in this array right here also max is the smallest that uh, non-negative integer and here also that max is the smallest non-negative integer. So if you consider the overall then the smallest non-negative integer that is present not present in the entire array is mx. So what, what I did was I chose my max equals to the max of the entire array and then I tried to divide the subsegments uh, in the closest like what is the smallest if I set my uh, I, l equals to the uh, 1 i keep kept traversing like till what index uh, minimum what index uh, i have to get till what minimum index that i have to get till i get my max equals to uh, the max of the array so that was my first segment and then i started from here and like that i, I kept dividing it till i got the segments like that so i will just show you the code so the code is something like this you start with a set of numbers obviously my uh, since I am maintaining an, a set, when this set is will be of length mx, then I will have found uh, uh, the max, right? Uh, once uh, the length of set is mx, then that means the current index is, will form, this segment has formed the max of the array, uh, like that. So first I am finding out the max of this entire array, which is equals to mx. Uh, once I have the mx, then I can then I am doing this like this. So I am traversing it and I am dividing it into segments. Uh, so from L to I, I have that. Now after this, if my answer is that, then obviously my the last index has to be n minus 1. And then if my length of answer is greater than 1, then I can do this. Otherwise, I will not do it. Right? So we have that. Now this is the code and if you were able to understand this kindly like this video and subscribe to the channel i will see you next time